day. It's a holy month. Shukur, alhamdulillah. May Allah forgive our disobedience and our, um, how you say, bad manners to this month and to this day. We're asking for the intercession of our Shaykh, inshallah. There's nothing much that we can do. We cannot, even our astaghfirullah is broken and dirty. As that great saint is saying, even your astaghfirullah needs another astaghfirullah. So we ask the Holy Ones, inshallah, to speak on our behalf and to open the way for us to serve better. Fatiha. Amin, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Any questions anyone has? Anything anyone wants to say? Ya Allah. Yes, yes. Women, do you have any questions you can ask? And this is, we're looking like this or like that in about a week's time. Yes, for Berat. Make plan. Everyone makes plans for dunya. They don't make plan for ahirah. They're just winging it. They just um, do it by blindly. Shevan used to say. No. Think. If you don't think, if you're not sure, what are the things that you want to improve on? Then it's, uh, if you're not sure, then you're going to know what it is in the wrong time and you cannot turn back. Hmm. What do we want to get rid of? Our disobedience, our stubbornness, our selfishness. Sheriff, and he mentioned selfishness so many times in that. What it means, selfishness? Shavani said, you don't even know if your brother or sister is alive or dead. Finish. The words of saints is enough. That means caring. Caring. Not only yourself. If you care only for yourself, it's called selfishness. If you care for yourself, you must care for others. If you don't care for others, this is especially um, important for men. Women, they have that care inside of them. Allah has put more. They have that mercy. They have that compassion. They have that caring. Men, they like to be selfish. They like to be, I should have any saying, lone wolves. They want to do what they want and they don't care what others are going to say. When you do that in the way of haq, it is good. But when you are doing that, in a selfish way, in a battle way, it will bring you to the lowest level of hell because you become very selfish. So the marriage, it is a uh, order to us. So you start caring others. You start feeling for others. You start understanding, this one is part of me. But you should not stop there. That is only the beginning. Most people, they stop there. My family. The most important thing is family. No, it is not. The most important thing, bigger they go, is my tribe. No, it's not the most important thing. It is important, but it's not the most important. The most important thing is my race. It is important, but it's not the most important thing. How are you going to know what is important or not important? Allah has sent His most beloved one, the best one, to teach us in the best way. How many times you hear the Holy Prophet والسلام, speaking, praising and only looking to his own family. There are certain things he said about his family, it is undeniable. They are 
the noble ones, the most noble ones. But when we talk about our family, we want to make them to be the most important. The most important. But look to Fahari Kainat when he speaks about his family. Does he say, they are the most important thing to me? No, he's saying, Umat, my Umat. So the selfishness, when you don't even know who is sitting next to you, how is that person's heart, how is that person feeling? When you have that selfishness, how much value do you think Allah will put to your prayers and your zikr and even your charity and everything that you do? When your heart is dead. When your heart is dead to the person sitting next to you, when your heart is dead to others, how much do you think your heart can be alive that time to Allah and His Prophet? That time your relationship with Allah and His Prophet and the Holy Ones is only to benefit you. Only to benefit you. You're not looking to them, what they need, what they want. Of course, Allah doesn't need anything. But saying, take care of each other, love each other, don't be selfish. His Hujat Wada, his last sermon, is coming down to those very simple things too. Take care of each other. Don't be zalim to each other. Men especially, don't be zalim to your wives. They have rights too. There is something there for the people of Ahir Zaman. Because we are so disconnected, we don't even have the heart. Why? Why is that? This is... We live, especially here in the West, where the push is not for you to take care of others, to feel for others. The push is for you to satisfy yourself what is fun for you. Not to put others before you, but to put yourself first, your interests first, your family first, your tribe first, your country first. This is not only in the West, but all around the world now. This is what it has been, this Jahiliya understanding. We are here in this Derga. If we are not practicing on each other, starting to care for each other, if we are selfish, what kind of better art are we going to get? What kind of blessing are we going to get? Hmm. We are neighbors. We live close to each other. And how many more sayings of the Prophet we need to hear? when he talks about the rights of the neighbors. That he's saying, Jibreel is saying that so many times to me. Watch out for the rights of the neighbors too. He's saying that I thought that the neighbors are more important than my own family. What happens if the neighbor is your family? What happens when you see that this is my family? That you are not separated just because you don't come from the same blood. The blood does not matter so much. But what if you have the same heart and the same spirit? They are your family. What do you do then? Complaining? Everyone complains. Everyone says, but what about that one? But what about this one? This one did this, this one did this. Because we live in that kind of society. But you don't ask yourself, what have I done? And if you do things for sincerely, for, with sincerity, you don't ask for anything in return anyway. You do things because it is the right thing to do and the peace comes to your heart, the blessings come to you because it is the right thing to do. But here, especially in this country, to teach us selfishness. We have so much, yet we are selfish. We have everything, yet we are selfish. This selfishness is not so uh, direct. The selfishness comes when your heart is dead and you don't know what other people are feeling. You're not interested in people. You're interested in only yourself. So you're not interested in people. You're not interested if I look like this, how this person is going to understand. If I say this, this person is going to take it the wrong way. If I do this, this person is going to feel something else bad. They say, so what? 
I didn't mean to do it. Let them handle it. This is that kind of a selfishness. The selfishness comes when there's so much that we have. We don't share. In this world also now, you don't share because you feel the pain of others. You share because you have too much. You don't share because you're understanding what their suffering is. You share just to get rid of things that you don't need. So that time, yes, you can give charity a lot, but you don't have a heart to. Ramazan is coming. Ramazan is supposed to teach us that. But if we are not letting things to hit to our heart, and the heart it is the most important thing, whatever we're doing, the greatest spiritual exercises or religious exercises or worldly things that you do, there will be nothing because your heart has not changed. So now, come to this month. We come to Berat. Berat is going to come. In one week's time. Shri Avanyat left us this, Jamaat. How are we being selfish? Then, how do we want to not be selfish? How can we be generous? And it's not only because of things, not because of money. Every time people say generous or selfishness, everyone just think about money. It's not about money. A good uh, thought about someone is charity. A smile is charity. To be good spirits. Not this, ah, this one is like this, this one is like that, this one. Oh, this one is not going to stay, this one. Uh, to be negative like that, that is selfishness. If you see the person is going through some difficulty, even if the person has doubt, it's not for you to sit and to judge and to say, I'm better and that one is worse. Allah is making you to see for a reason. That is a test to you. Aren't you supposed to help? You're supposed to do something? But when you're looking only for your own benefit and you're pulling yourself back, then pretty soon shaitan will sit into your heart. There were some that they were coming for years. They didn't do wrong to anyone. They didn't. They helped in some ways, like what I said, that kind of charity. You understand? That kind of giving. But as Shaykh Afani said, you become a lone wolf. Hmm? And you don't care for others. Very soon, Shaitan will just sit on their hearts and say, look, you're doing all these things, nobody cares about you. And you're not getting anything out of this. And you should become a lone wolf even more. So the point is, now, it doesn't matter what kind of building, what kind of car, what kind of thing you have in your pocket, but what is in your heart. Start caring, looking to each other. Don't give me any stupid excuse. I work, I this, I that. No. To have intention is free. Just to have that intention to have that thought, to have that. It's free anytime, anywhere. Then according to your sincerity, Allah will move the doors, will move the barricades, move the veils away from you to be able to do that. So yes, last Barat we saw. Hmm. Take lesson wasn't too long ago.
but you have the attitude, why should I care for them? They don't care for me. It's done. It's finished. There's not, no prophet ever said that. No saint ever said that. Who are you following? You may have a thousand reasons, but who are you following? Shaitan has that kind of reasoning, that kind of bitterness. So, how do you care for someone? Sit with them. Let them to speak. Let them to talk. Find out what their life is. Find out what it is they need. Sometimes all they need is a kind word from you. Some smile from you. Because shaitan is just pulling everyone to be away and to be alone. For them not to feel lonely. Now, of course, there are exceptions. There are people who are like saldrans. They're always biting and attacking other people. Leave those ones. Until they come around, there's nothing much that you can do. But we have a lot of work with each other. We have a lot of work with the next generation. We have a lot of work with people not only here in this Jamaat, but we have people that all over the world that you need to reach out to. That you may say, yeah, today I didn't do too much this, too much that, but at least I called someone in this other part of the country. And they're murids, and they're so happy to hear from us. We did this, and Chef, and he did this, this is the Sohbat. Uh, that time you're starting to, starting to open up. Your heart starts to open up. Yeah. Inshallah. May Allah forgive me and bless you. Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. Anything else anyone wants to say? Because in this country, a uh, lot of countries, you have everything that you need. You don't need anything from anyone, really, materially or whatever. Or even time. You don't even want to spend time with people because you have your shaitan box there, your cell phone. Chef Eni used to say, shaitan box is your TV. This is even worse. Huh? You don't need anyone. You have 10 people in a room, everyone is busy looking at that. And that is a blessing and it's also a curse. Turn it to a blessing, don't turn it to a curse. Because it seems like we don't need anyone. Yet, the most depressed people, the most anxiety-ridden people, uh, the most troubled ones, is coming from these areas. How do you make yourself to need other things from other people? Once you start needing from other people, or once you start providing that, then your energies will pass. Someone who's positive will pass to you. Someone who's negative, you'll be able to take it to. Like it is when we're standing in prayer. Shaf and he always used to say, shoulder to shoulder, touch your shoulders. Not feet to feet. You can never uh, pray properly anyway if your feet touching for each other like Wahhabi style touching like this. Because they say something is coming and things are passed through one another. It shifts, it levels off, it becomes better. But you have to spend time, you have to be interested, number one, to say, I'm interested in this one, I'm interested in this one, I'm interested in this one. Well, what about your family, this? Yeah, I'm interested in them too, but I'm looking, if I have one week, 60 hours, how many hours I spend here, and how many hours I spend here, how many hours I spend here? Prophet Wasallam made it even clearer. He says, we don't want to say these things too much. We're not making it to become a law and heaviness for people. But just as he says, your stomach, it cannot be filled completely. He's saying one-third is for water, one-third is for air, one-third you put food. Simple. 
beautiful. If everyone has that, there's so much health that is going to come in every way. He's saying also your time. There's time that you need to spend with Allah. There's a time you need to spend at work. There's a time that you need to spend with your family. That's why I'm saying we need to sit down, calculate a little bit, organize a little bit. We don't have too much time. Now we're cramming for the finals. Next Thursday, let's say, we're cramming. It should not be like this, but at least we're doing something, last minute, at least you're trying to do something. So sit down and say, what I wish to have more, what I wish to have less, not for the dunya, to become more better as a servant and less as a disobedient servant. To Allah, to His Prophet, to the Jamaat. Look at that properly and then ask properly. And then that will be a target that you are setting for yourself. Then slowly you will start changing. If you don't, you just wing it. You just make everything to become like blindly like that. Then you're missing the target. Yes, you're shooting. Yes, you have a target in front of you. And yes, you're shooting. But you're shooting it blindly. You're not being very direct and you're not being intelligent about it. We have to be direct, or we have to be intelligent, and we have to be focused, because this is war. This is war against our own selves. It doesn't matter what is going on in this world. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, give the tea. Any questions? What time is that person calling? What time are you calling? Huh? Okay. So don't let shaitan to fool you. Don't look from the outside. Huh? That one has more, that one is, has less, that one is doing this, that one is buying this, that one is... Don't look at that. Look at how much caring that one has. Whether that one is selfish or not. Look at that. Whether that one is generous or not. How much time is he spending for others? Look at that. That has to be the important thing. how much time, how much effort he is doing to relieve some difficulties from others. What an honor it is for us to be able to help believers. Remember before in a Jamaat, who are we helping? Ourselves. No one really. But now what a blessing it is. This one, I cannot do my zikr so much. I cannot read so much. At least I can help this one. This one needs this. This one needs this. This one needs this. You're running. Something so simple. Maybe I can fix a pipe. Maybe I can fix my smile. Maybe I can take over this one's guard duty. Maybe I can relieve this. Take these things seriously. Don't look at the outside. Look to see what that one is doing to help. That is more impressive to me. I'm not so impressed if that one is praying so much, making zikr so much. I'm going to ask, who is he helping? Zikr is for yourself. Prayer is for yourself. Hajj is for yourself. Everything you do is for yourself. Allah is saying that to Kalimullah. I said, well, then what can I do for you, Ya Rabbi? He's saying, Allah is saying, love those whom I love and hate those whom I hate. That love and that hate comes with every condition there. Because when you love, you serve. And when you hate, you fight and you block off.
don't be concerned with the outside so much. No? Okay. This much is enough. I mean, Allah Tafiq al Fatiha. Amen. Assalamu alaikum.